Hello and welcome to Autumn 1996. So we're just in the garage. I just have to pop in. There's like a car a load of stuff somewhere. So but on here we have got Ford 8340. Now we've had three of these. We've had these for about a year or so now. And a 7840. So that's what we've been using. One of the 8210s is gone. I think the TW15 is gone. But we are expecting some new tractors today to be delivered. So we're just on our way back to the farm because they should be with us quite shortly. So we'll get back there. So these seem to pretty much replace the 8210s. And they've been very good. They haven't been without their faults, which is why we're getting a newer version today. But we've actually got two different tractors coming. Obviously both Fords. Um, with it being 1994, see if you can guess what the other one's going to be before it shows up. So we've been itching, itching to get some new tractors because these have been a bit. They've had their problems, but they've been mostly all right. The farm has changed a little bit since we last a video a few years ago I'll just drop that trade off there so that's that it's like this one's running we can have that one out and cleaned it up a bit clean these ones up as much as we can but obviously they're a bit worn because we've been using them for the last year or so so we've got a, another drill in here so one of the old 8210s is in here from a few years ago paint's coming off that a little bit so we've only got that one of them left we've traded the others in the other one and the PW15 against these new things that are coming. We've had this drill dropped off yesterday, so we're going to try this out. The old drill was getting a bit knackered. We have one, we have changed one thing on the farm now, and that is JCP has started making loaders for farms so we knew they did an earlier one a farm special 520 but we never went with that we went with the next version up which is about this era now so we went with the 52567 as they the load had a few problems probably quite a few problems so they perfected it a bit more with this one and it's a lot better than using the tractor and loader. A lot more built for the job it's supposed to do. A lot better for the bales and manure and stuff. We 
We have only got one of the JH4 trailers now. Luck spreader is still there. We've had a new barn put up. The old Dutch barn that was here uh, was pretty much collapsed or collapsing. So we better get it knocked down. And we've had a brand new shed put here for bales. So we had that built in the last sort of like six months earlier this year. Got another bale trailer. Got a Marshall bale trailer. The old New Holland TX36 sits in here. We have got the TW25 Super Q. I think that's out. I don't see it. It's out cultivating. We've got a quite a big cultivator ripper on that. As we seem to be going away from ploughing a little bit. We're not doing quite as much ploughing now. As we used to in the beginning. The old Land Rover's still here. A lot of the paint's coming off. Dog keeps climbing all over it. Yeah, we've still got that at the moment. So I think really we're just waiting for this lorry to turn up this morning. I don't there's anything around here. Obviously we don't do any little square bells anymore, we just do round bells. We've also had a new grain shed. I forgot to mention that while we were standing there. The old one was pretty dilapidated, so we've had a brand new massive grain shed put up to store all our grain. No more bins. Everything's pretty much the same up there. We tend not to do brewer's grain so much now. The next thing that will be changed probably are the cattle barns. They're getting a bit dilapidated and rusty. And all the roofing sheets are Born to bits, so we're looking at doing that in the next within the next couple of years. So we'll wait for this lorry to turn up. Right, yeah, okay, just use that other one then. So they have turned up. But as of now, there are going to be no more, no more what was known as Fords on this farm. Because everything is now changing to New Holland. Fords have pretty much ceased. But are still going in the background at the moment. And they seem to be sort of going in with Fiat Agri a little bit um, but we're keeping the colour of blue and not terracotta but there will be no more Fords because everything is basically changing to New Holland under the Ford brand so we've just got one of these to try at the moment so we've got a New Holland 8340 which has been made a lot better than the old Ford 8340 as they've been able to sort out some of the problems and improve it a bit so we'll be giving that a go but we've only bought one of those for the moment but the, we've bought two of something completely different which is brand new these are all brand new tractors anyway but we've got two brand new New Holland 8970s So these are proper powerhouses. We could have gone with A870s, but we thought we'd just go with the, with the biggest. But 
these are 240 horsepower each so obviously these have come from the same place so they both pretty much got the same number plate so we're going to be putting one of these on the drill and going out to where he's ripping ground up and we'll see the new horn is going out power harrowing where there has been a bit of ploughing done so we'll get them sorted out so they're just here warming up for the moment they've all been pre-delivery inspected and everything else now so they're ready to go so that's one of them parked up here the other two have gone off power harrowing and he's put the drill on so we need to take him out some seed he's gone out full but he will run out so we'll take the JCB get this out to the field it's not the fastest of things on the road but then again it's not really built for road work Right, I've just stopped here because I've actually just bumped into one of my neighbours that has got a what we've just got, but in fair agri. He's had this for about a year. We've waited for hours because we wanted the new Holland ones. We could have had these, but we didn't want this version. So he's got a fair agri G210. is probably the 8870 version, I'm not sure, it's not quite as big as the one we've got engine wise but we were offered these about a year ago we said no but as a lot of farmers wanted bigger tractors a bit sooner settled for these but it's all the same with the new Holland version but it's just the branding that's different I believe on those but he's had that for about a year and he's pretty happy with it so hopefully ours should be okay so we better get this seed out to him machinery on the landscape so it looks like it different than it did a few years ago 10 20 years ago that's the field we're going in we've got around go around this pond first see how our pw out there cultivating I think that field that he's ploughing is a share farm field, it's not actually there, they're just contracted to do it.
but hopefully we'll get in there soon and then we'll be doing it so he seems to be going long okay not long to start, I expect you have to set that new drill up so. for him to do a few more runs and then we can get over and set the um, trainer up and where we can fill him up. So we'll just run on over and have a look at the TW. Five's going along quite nicely. So we've got this big Lemkin Ripper now. Which has nice little tines on it which dig down quite deep and rip it up. And it does a good job of burying all the stubble and the rubbish. So it cuts out a bit of a need for ploughing some places. Where the ground's not rock hard. Proving to be quite a nice autumn this year, nice and dry. Doesn't rain too much, so we can get our work done. Weather doesn't look too bad for the next few weeks, so hopefully we can get all our autumn work done. So we'll just leave that there like that so he can pick those bags up when he's ready to fill himself up. So that's looking very good. So we'll let these guys get on and pop that later on tonight to see how they're getting on. I shall take a long walk back to the farm. So I'll just come over the second bridge, the railway line. Our other A340 is out there, power harrowing. go past that hedge to get to this fence so we've got our young lad on that so we've just set the power hour up a little bit better than it was so we've just done a bit of a test strip here so he's gone up on that run now so there's new, uh, new Holland 8340 seems to be doing pretty well out here The original 8340 was out between 91 and 94, the Ford version, and in 95 they brought the new Holland. So obviously we're in what we're in now, but we waited about a year for that as well. Thought everything get get everything changed over for when we're going to need it, the um, autumn work. But hopefully this and the 8970s will do us quite a few years. We're going to get a lot of work done with these. So for this episode on here, that's probably where we're going to leave it. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. And we'll catch you again next time. Cheers.